Hi, I am so glad you are here. We get to begin our new unit on subtraction today, and I can't wait to get started. But first, let me pour myself something to drink, and I'll meet you at my desk. us off on our unit on subtraction, let's start by making up some subtraction stories. Take a look at my lemons. Count them out with me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six lemons. So here's my story. I have six lemons sitting on my counter, but two were rotten. How many lemons were left? Let's work together to solve that problem. So here are my six lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna cover it up. And I said two were rotten. So I'm gonna take out two. How many are left? Can you tell your teacher the answer? Let's take a look and see if you are right. Did any of you say four? Six, take away two, leaves me one, two, three, four. How was that? Was that hard or easy? You might find that subtraction is just the opposite of addition. And the better we know our number bonds, the easier it is for us to do our subtraction. So let's try another example. Let me put away my lemons. And now I have some eggs. Let's count together to see how many eggs I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's my story. I have eight eggs sitting on the counter. My dog jumped up and knocked three of my eggs off the counter and onto the floor. How many eggs do I have left on the counter? Okay, I kind of showed it to you using my eggs, but now let's solve it together. How many eggs did I start with? Eight eggs, so let me cover it up. Now, how many eggs did my dog knock off? Yes, three. My dog jumped up and knocked off three eggs. Eight, take away three, leaves me how many? How many eggs were left on my counter? Did you say five? One, two, three, four, five. You are right. Now, let me clean out my desk and I'll show you some more ways to practice subtraction. Let's practice more subtraction using my dots. Can you count how many red dots I have on my table? Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I have five red dots and I turn over two dots to the yellow side, how many dots are red? Yeah, three, five, Take away two leaves me three. Let's try that again. Instead of five, let's bring in two more. So now I have seven dots. Seven red dots are laying on my table. I turn over one, two, three, four. How many dots are red? Yes, three, seven, Take away four leaves me three red dots. Do you notice that when we subtract, our answer is smaller than the number that we start with? Let's try this one more time. Let me turn over my dots to be all red. So there's seven. Let's add two more. Now let's count how many dots we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine dots. Can you come up with a subtraction story for your teacher using these nine dots? 
Tell your teacher you have nine dots and then figure out how much you want to be yellow and then tell your teacher the answer. Great, let's see if you came up with the same problem I did. I have nine red dots. Seven are turned over to the yellow side. Four, five, six, seven. How many dots are red? Two. Nine, take away seven, leaves me two. How'd you do? Did any of you come up with the same problem I did? Great. This is a great strategy to use for a subtraction practice, but let me show you one other way. Let me clear this off. Now, take a look at my Unifix cubes. We've played this game before practicing number bonds, but SNAP is a great way to practice subtraction. Let's see how many I have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten, but for right now, let's start with just six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, take away four, leaves me six. Okay, so do you remember how to play snap? I'm going to take my six, which is my hole, put it behind my back, and I'm going to break it in two. I'm going to show you one part, and I need you to tell your teacher how much is hiding behind my back. So I had six. I broke off three. How many is left behind my back? Yes, three. Do you see how knowing our number bonds helps with subtraction? Three and three make six. Let's do it again. I'm still going to have six. This time, I'm going to snap off and show you five. How many are hiding behind my back? Yes, one. Six, take away five, leaves me one. Let's try it one more way just with six. Okay, ready? I started with six. I'm going to take away Two, how many are left behind my back? Yes, four. Six, take away two, leaves me four. How'd you do? Was subtraction a little hard or a little easy? The more we practice our number bonds, the easier it will get. So make sure you keep reviewing your number bonds each and every day. Bye, see you next time.